And this is why I do not sim games in FIFA. I mean, just look at everything that happened on my side. Look at Sunderland's team. There's no way that team should be a team with De Gea, uh, Valencia, Smalling, Bailly, Darmian, Enzonzi, Mata, Pogba, Terran, Ibra, and Neymar. This is freaking ridiculous. Anyway, what's up guys? It's the NJB here, and today I'm just going to be talking about FIFA 17 while I am playing um, career mode. So, I'm going to show you guys... You know, Chile's a good team, I'll accept it. I would rather France though, but... I'm just going to show you guys my career mode team. This is, this is for my Man United career mode. Um, I'm at home... So you saw right there, okay actually let me just show you my team. So this is a team, the only player I really bought was Neymar and Anz or players I got was Neymar and Zanzi. and I don't think I got any more players. I did keep a few players that Man United did sell, like I have uh, Depay, I have um, actually I don't think there's any more, but I just have those two players, Depay and um, let me move my mic a little bit. Okay, so I had the the pies, and I don't think there's really any other player there. I'll just put this guy in the squad. But yeah, that's kind of, for lack of better words, it's kind of BS that uh that happened in the last simulation. I mean, I don't know why it would do that to me, but. Either way, as you can see, my next game is against Chelsea, or a league game is against Chelsea. I have these two Europa League games, but after it made me lose against them, I don't know, man. I don't know. But in this video, I just want to talk about FIFA 17. I want to know what you guys thought about it, or what you guys think about it. Because personally, I have like mixed feelings. And I'm going to play this game, so I'm going to see you guys when this game starts. Alright guys, I'm starting against this team. I don't even know the name of the team, but... Anyway, I'm just going to talk about FIFA 17. So, basically, I just want to know what you guys think about it. I know the game's been out for quite a while. And... I just want to know what you guys think about it. Personally, for me... Um... It's just like, do I like it or hate it? For me, I kind of like it for career mode. Or anything offline. So, ultimate team, foot champs. I guess that's ultimate team. But even like uh, online seasons, like when you just play, pick a team and play as them. I, I, I don't really like it for that. But I don't really like it for online. Just because I don't feel like the game is fair. So like last year... Like when I lose a game and when I score, like even when I score goals and goals are scored on me, like I can see how the player like outplayed me. Like even though I'd get mad, I can see how the player like outplayed me and how they were just played better to beat me. But in this game, I just don't see it. I mean, I just feel like there's just a lack of skill. I feel like you don't really have to know what you're doing to win the game. I feel like sometimes the game just like goes in your favor. So, that's one thing I don't like about this game. I mean, last year, I felt like the, you actually had to know what you were doing to win. But in this year, I just feel like it's just like attack, 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 cross, header, that's it. Um, how is Ebra of all people done giving such a bad touch to that? What a goal from Neymar. There's no way they're gonna stop that. But in this game, I just feel like there's not a lot of like technique to attacking. I mean, I kinda do, like I'm fairly good at this game. I mean, foot champs, ah, I'm not good at that, honestly. I haven't even gotten into the tournament and that's kind of frustrating me. Now, most of the times, like, I just don't feel like I deserve to lose. It's like my keeper just doesn't respond. My defenders are just so useless. And that's kind of how I feel with the whole game. I feel like you have to like really move your defenders 
Like you have to like control your defenders if you want to defend well. Like they give you like zero help. And they have zero intelligence to move on their own. On top of that, the keepers, like, they're so inconsistent. I mean, sometimes their keeper is, like, unstoppable. Sometimes they're just completely trash. And there's, like, no in-between. So, that's kind of how I feel about online. So, for career mode, you can kind of build some consistency with it. Um, if I had to say which is my favorite, like, league to play career mode in, possibly, like, I just started a Napoli career mode. So, it's probably going to be Serie A because I feel like that gives like the best uh, mix between um, defensive teams and attacking teams. Okay, if you guys just saw that touch from Valencia, I was trying to lob the ball back up field and somehow he gave such a horrible pass. So, that's another thing when you pick um, like a team that's good. Okay, it's another goal. But that's another team. When you pick a team that's good like Real Madrid and then you pick a team like Man United that has like good players but not like the highest rated players, you notice like how often the game makes you make mistakes. But yeah, Serie A, I think that's what I was talking about. They give like the best options between like attacking career mode, like an attacking league and a defensive league. The Premier League, all the, t all the Premier League teams do is just park the bus and that's really annoying. And they score some really dumb goals on you. On top of that, like I can beat Chelsea like 5-0. I can beat Arsenal 5-0. I can beat Man City 5-0. But then when I play like Sunderland, Crystal Palace, Everton, those teams will just give me like the hardest games I've ever played. Career mode, I can kind of deal with FIFA 17, like anything offline when I'm playing against the AI. I can kind of deal with it. But for uh, like online games, like I just can't. I mean, I just don't feel like the game is fair enough. And honestly, I feel like all the like. Remember in FIFA 15 when they made all these like goalkeeping advancements and that? They like basically undid that in this game. And they just they in, they made so many different like finishing techniques. I mean, I feel like I was the only one who was watching those trailers and just knew that that's only gonna screw the game over. Cause like. If you're a keeper, like if there's a way for someone to score on your keeper every time, like and get past your defenders, I mean, how, how is, how, like, where's the skill in that? I mean, you just press, you just press um, a low ground shot or yeah, a ground shot. I think, I think that's what it's called, and then you can score like almost every time or driven shot. That's what it's called, and you you can't like make your keeper defend that. And if there is, like, please tell me, but you can't make your keeper defend that. So. Just small stuff like that, also like headering down, I mean that's completely ridiculous. I mean you're basically, you're basically make, like having like a bunch of air inside the box that doesn't do anything. So opening next year's FIFA, I hope they can just go back to FIFA like 16 this way and just like, just improve from there, like just improve like the player physics, improve like the finishing technique in uh, FIFA 16, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of it, but I think like it could work. I mean, all you really did was just um, um, just take a shot. Like you just go to the keeper. All you do is uh, just go go to one side of the keeper and just shoot it in the open side of the goal. And that would be that. But I hope they can just like go back to like FIFA 16 and just improve the game from there. I'm just gonna take these guys out because they're looking kind of tired. It's been Rooney back on and he's captain. I'd like that a lot, so you just go back to the FIFA 16, and yeah, so that's going to do it for um, this uh, talk about FIFA 17. I just want to know, what do you guys feel about it? Have you guys gotten into foot champs? Because I'm fairly good at this FIFA, but I have not even gotten into foot champs. And before, like in previous FIFAs, I mean, or at least FIFA 15 and 16, I mean, that I started in FIFA 15, I think, so I got kind of like in the middle of the year. Or middle of this life cycle. By life cycle, I mean like from um, the time it came out, like when it was the main FIFA. Look at that foul! Well, I got it when it came out, and that was like my first FIFA that I actually bought. And then FIFA 16, I just loved that game. Like even when I was playing bad, I liked it. But this game, even when I'm losing, I just don't like. I just don't have that feeling. 
That shot was so horrible. I just don't have that feeling that drives me to keep playing a game like I do with like Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield. Or not, not Battlefield, I don't know what I'm saying. Call of Duty and like the previous FIFAs or like Watch Dogs or like some other video games. So, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but you know, when you, you just can't stop playing a game, I just don't have that feeling with FIFA 17. I mean, it just doesn't have that drive that makes me want to come back even though I'm not playing well. And that's what I've had with FIFA 16. Like, I I would be playing FIFA 16 like more often, but just I can't find any games. I mean, no one's playing it. Like, I don't think. So, tell me what you guys think about FIFA 17. This video is going about pretty long, so um, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is me and JB, and.